welcome back. Ooh, yes, I have an extremely exciting battle of the boxes for you guys today. It is, for the first time ever here on my channel, the Boxy Lux up against the Ipsy Ultimate. I just really wanted to compare apples to apples, the Ultimate to the Boxy Lux, because they are actually really close in uh, their stuff. <laughs> so the Ipsy Ultimate, as we know, is a $50 subscription box. They say it's supposed to have a value over $250. There's going to be eight full-size items with four sample slash deluxe travel size items inside of it. The Boxy Lux, again, very similar. It's technically supposed to be like an add-on from your regular subscription. They add on some extra price, I think it's like $28.99, something like that. But it basically adds up to $49.99, basically 50 bucks. It's the same price as the Ultimate. And this one, I have not found specifically how many products they're supposed to have in it. I couldn't really see specifics on that, but they do say that the value is supposed to be always over $300. So that's kind of exciting that these two are pretty comparable. I definitely see what uh, they're trying to do here. They got some very close competition to each other now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing both of these boxes and we're just gonna see kind of how they stack up to each other. Cause I've always wanted to know, like what's the deal with Boxy Lux? I've never gotten it before. This is the first time. Of course, there is one difference I almost forgot to mention. Ipsy Ultimate is every month. Boxy Charm, Boxy Lux I mean, is every three months. So that's just kind of one thing to note. So maybe this is gonna be something that I do every three months. Let me know if you guys want me to keep this up every three months and compare them and see how they stack up because it's kind of exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy it. Now let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, I think I want to get started with the Boxy Lux just because I've never tried Boxy Lux before. I'm really curious as to what it's gonna have inside of it. Let's let's get into this bad boy. I have previously cut the little tabs down there so I don't struggle. <laughs> but here we are. Sneak peek. Let's do this thing. Extra large pamphlet here. The theme is whimsy. You get all the deets about what you're gonna get inside of there. Let's see, how many products are we gonna get in here? Nine. So there is nine products inside of here. I believe they are all gonna be full size. There's nothing that says that they are inputting trial sample sizes or any of that, those kinds. But yeah, let's get started with the first product here. We got ourselves the Daily Concepts Hair Towel Wrap. It has a value of 18 bucks. I have definitely seen the tiny little hair wrap towels before. I usually just take my towel once I'm done with it and just go, you know, <laughs> it works. I guess this is just supposed to be, you know, smaller meant for just your, your hair. That way you don't use your regular towel after. How do you, all right. So this would work way better <laughs> if my hair was wet, but I get the, but I get the gist. It's the same exact thing as using your towel. It's just a, uh, like, it looks like a little hat, like a big hat. <laughs> That's fun. I'm going to use that when I wash my hair. That was now our first item. Let's go over to our second. I see something by cosmetics. Oh, I think I know which one this is. I think I saw a spoiler. Oh yeah, 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 it is. It's um, their body and face roller. Here's what it looks like. I've actually seen Tati use a product very similar to this one, but she has one, I think it's by Nurse Jamie, and it's a very high-end kind of tool that she swears by. She rolls it all over her face every morning, I think she says. I'm kind of excited to start using this one and just see, you know, what Tati loves about it, if I actually see some benefits. So I think the concept is the same here. You just roll it all over the face, and what do you... What is the benefits? It just says it's supposed to improve visibility of fine lines, enhance skin's texture, and uplift fatigued skin. Yeah, and I mean, it looks exactly the same as that one, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a dupe. 
I did quickly double check because I was like, there's no way they're exactly the same price, Nurse Jamie and the cosmetics product. So on the little pamphlet, they do hype up the price a little bit to the Nurse Jamie. So they claim it's $69, but actually online it's $65. I mean, just a $4 difference, but just something I kind of want to mention that it is actually just like 65 bucks. That was our second product. Let's move on to our third now which looks like it's gonna be a cleanser. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. BoxyCharm is claiming that this has a value of $48, but I double checked it since the cosmetics was a little bit off and it's actually $38 online. It's not 48 as they claim. I checked a couple different websites too. It's all 38. So, um, seems like they're inflating the price a little bit. I'm wondering if it's because they're trying to hit that $300 value that they're claiming it's supposed to be. I don't know. This is my first time getting BoxyLux and the first time I've actually seen BoxyTerm inflate the prices this much. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that till the end and just see if that makes a really big difference if they're doing that with all of the products. So I'm gonna be double checking the prices here. And it's got soy, it's got cucumber, it has rose water, it's got amino acids, and all of these ingredients are supposed to help maintain skin elasticity, soothe the skin, calm and balance so, I mean, it sounds really good. Uh, I'm go I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit cautious when it comes to cleansers nowadays in subscription boxes just because I can have kind of sensitive skin and some of them can really make my skin freak out. I do enjoy getting cleansers inside the boxes just because they can be so expensive. So I like getting them, but I'm always a little bit like, ah, oh, let me just... Let me try it out first. <laughs> Hopefully my skin doesn't freak out, but I mean, it sounds like it's pretty natural stuff. So, fingers crossed. Then, oh, I recognize this brand here. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Now, let's see here. BoxyCharm is claiming that this is $79. Let's double check them. Okay, and that is actual fact. I found it here. It's 79 bucks, so they didn't inflate the price of that one. And I feel like Elemis is definitely all about the anti-aging properties because they have the collagen inside of here, which is supposed to be really good for anti-aging. It also has organic English rose, rosehip oil, roaring water kelp, padina pavonica, and no clue what that is. <laughs> I'd have to look that one up. And all of it, it's supposed to help up the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Let's give it a sniff. Is it very potent in that rose scent? I mean, you can smell the rose, but it's not that overwhelming smell like if you really dislike rose you know the scent I'm talking about the one that's like in your face this one's actually not that bad and rubbed out it smells pretty sweet I think but not bad good item there now we're moving into our fifth item oh we got some Too Faced so this right here is the Too Faced rich and dazzling lip gloss this one they claim is $21 and it actually is $21. So maybe it was just those two items that I happened to catch that they maybe misprinted. I don't know. We shall see by the end of the video. But I got the shade 2 Nightstand. 2 Nightstand. Their names are always a little bit out there for me. But here's what it looks like right down here. It's just a pink tinted gloss with some micro glitter reflect that's also pink and got some hints of some purpley blue or reflex sparkles too. Let's pop it on the lips. Let's try this one out. I haven't tried a uh, straight up gloss formula by Too Faced. I did have some gloss on the lips. Maybe that was a mistake. Let's wipe that away <laughs> and then just put on the Too Faced. I was using my Amour Matte in uh, Adorable by Milani. Now that it's dried down, let's plop on the Too Faced. Not bad, it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. Just adds a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a shine to the lips. Yeah, I like it, looks good. Then we got something by Ciate here. The Confetti Highlighter. Here's what she looks like. Again, it's exactly what they claim it is. It's They say it's 32 bucks, double checked, it is 32 bucks, so that's good. At least we're not having discrepancies all around. Let's do a little swatcheroo. Very pretty, so that's it all swirled together. Looks like a very bronzy kind of highlight. For me, this as highlighter is just a little bit too dark, but I'm honestly kind of intrigued how this would look as a blush topper. I know it's very shimmery, but it just has a 
I don't know, it kind of has a blushy vibe for me. I don't, I don't know, am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I kind of want to try it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I have shimmery blushes. If I go lightly with it. Yeah, not bad. I think I might use it for that or, you know, all over the lid kind of highlight deal. Can always use it for that. All right, then we got ourselves, oh, this is a big bottle. Looks like a spray can. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's just cause it's so like thick looking. It just reminds me of a spray can and the way it's shaped and all that. Or uh, spray paint, there you go, not spray can. But it's a product by IGK. It's their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. I had a feeling it was gonna be dry shampoo or hairspray, but it's just, I don't know. It's just cause of the size of it, it just looked like spray paint. The size is a 6.3 ounce that retails for 27 bucks. And then it looks like we just got two more products here. One's in a little baggie. I'm guessing so it doesn't spill. It's by M Greengrass. It's a dry oil spray. Fragrance is Beach Air. And I had a look on the little thing here because I got very confused by the directions. It says you use it for your hair and your face. And I was like, whoa, what is this? But it's just, it just says it's meant for the hair and body that's got some good oils in it that's supposed to moisturize. It's got some shea butter, sunflower seed oil, olive fruit oil, avocado oil, grape seed oil, and then it's got some fragrance in it. Yeah, I mean, it's oily. <laughs> That's an interesting scent. Kind of reminds me of one of my husband's colognes. It's got a bit of a musky smell, I would say. It's a good scent. I like it. You just usually don't see many um, facial oils with that kind of a scent. And I know that it kind of depends, you know, if you like fragrance or not, if your skin's really sensitive. So this is definitely very fragranced. And it is a $36 bottle, so it's a little bit of a higher end kind of deal. But it's looking like we just got one more item here. And it is a palette by Storybook Cosmetics. Look at how cute this is. It's the Once Upon a Time Little Brer Rose. Very cute. I always like the themage of Storybook Cosmetics. It's definitely more of a showpiece kind of palette because it is very large, in my opinion, for just 12 shadows. But I mean, they make it their own moment with each storybook and you're supposed to display it and each one looks like a book on a shelf. So you just have them lined up. But yeah, so there's 12 shades inside of here looking like the matte shimmer and metallic formula. Let's give them a little swatch. Here are what the swatches look like. This one, it looks like they had a little price mix hap here. The pamphlet said it was 55, but I checked the website and it's actually a $45 palette. That was now our last item for our boxy Lux. And actually in the end here, it wasn't that big of a difference with the price inflation that they kind of did here. It's a $24 difference, so not too bad. I think I wanna add it up really quick before I move on to my ultimate box, just to kind of see. We get ourselves a value of $361 for the box. They really didn't need to do those typos. I mean, it would have put them almost closer to $400, but maybe it was a mistake on their part. Still a really good value for the box. Got nine products in there. Definitely very happy with my first boxy Lux, but let's put this away. We'll come back to it in just a second here. Talk more about it once I unbox the ultimate. So let's switch gears now over to our Ipsy Ultimate box right now. Here's a little sneak peek at the action in here. Again, we got this new extremely long <laughs> pamphlet that Ipsy is putting inside of this box. And oh, hello. Have they listened to the reviews? They're actually listing some prices up here. So it says what they are, their full size, and then it gives a value. I am gonna double check it though, as the same as I did with the boxy charm, just to make sure they're being honest, they're not uh, inflating the prices, you know? But yeah, so that's the pamphlet. First thing is first, we do get our ultimate bag, which this time is totally silver. 
It's definitely not as large as the previous Ipsy Ultimate bag. That one was a massive. I love that one. The cheetah print one, I actually have it here. This thing was huge. Such a good bag. This one is just a little bit smaller. I just want to hold it up so that way you guys can get a little bit of a comparison because it doesn't seem like they're sticking to the same kind of bag style and size. So this one's a, just a little bit different. But yeah, so that's the bag we get with this one this time around. Let's begin now with the first product. I actually recognize one. This one is the, did I have it backwards? No, <laughs> same both ways around. It's the Skin & Co. Roma, the Truffle Therapy, the Face Gommage. I recognize it because I actually got this one in a previous advent calendar last month. So I'm just gonna show you guys the packaging of this larger one, but I'm not gonna, you know, test out any product of this one because I do have the smaller version right here. But it's a good, gentle, exfoliating cleanser. I've been occasionally using this one. I don't like to use exfoliators that often. I like to stick to my daily cleansers and then use my Clarisonic to really get in deep. But maybe like once or twice a week, I'll go in with an exfoliator like this to just kind of buff away the dead skin. And we're only the first one in now, so I'm gonna be keeping track of the prices. Ipsy did claim that this was $28, but found it on Ulta's website for $26, so, you know, just a little bit of a inflation there in the price, but just by two bucks, so I'm just gonna keep track of that. Moving on to our second full-size product in the box, we got the Color Club Nail Polish in Rocky Mountain High. This one, they say, has a value of $8.50 and I actually found it for $8.95 everywhere online, so <laughs> they were being generous there. <laughs> Looks like it's a dark, rich red. Ooh, like a Bambi kind of red. Let's use this random white box that I've actually used for nail polish <laughs> before to show. Oh yeah, look at that. Very rich, dark red. Maybe with a hint of a some plum in there. It looks like a nice color. I have not tried a color from Color Club before. This is definitely a very new brand to me. It'll be interesting to see how the nail polish wears. Third up in the box, we got ourselves another Illamesca product. It definitely seems like Ipsy is loving this brand right now. We've received a couple items by them. This is their liquid eyeliner with a retail value of $28. Ipsy actually undervalued this one. They said it was $22, but it, I actually found it several places for 28. I haven't seen 22. It seems like Ipsy's a little bit all over the board here with prices. Ooh, looks like a good liquidy black liner though. It does have the felt tip to it, which is personally my style of preference for liquid liners. Now they say this is quick drying and 100% mudge proof and smudge proof. So I'm gonna give this a second to dry down. It is drying down rather quickly. And then I'm just gonna do a quick test to see if it moves. Hey, that looks pretty good. Not seeing any movement on that part. Okay, that looks like a good liner I definitely wanna try. It passes my test here. Wow. Then we got ourselves a lip product. We got one by Fluid. It is the liquid lipstick in Candy Bar. I have not heard of Fluid before. Here's what the shade Candy Bar looks like. And this is a $16 liquid lipstick. I definitely really wanna try this one on, so let's wipe away what I got. See what we're working with. like a brownie red kind of liquid lipstick and it's drying down fairly fairly quick but it feels like a good comfortable liquid lip li whoa, 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 whoa. liquid lipstick formula and then just in case you guys aren't all about that liquid lipstick life just you know pop a little bit of gloss on top give it a little bit of life again you'll see that your liquid lipsticks almost have a new life. Hold on, where'd I put the Tutti Fruity one? Not Tutti Fruity, Too Faced. <laughs> that's that's one of the collections, but it's the gloss one. Just gonna take a little bit of this and pop it on. Sparkly and fun. Let's keep going with the full sizes here. We got a full size set here. 
This is by Feel Beauty. It is their brilliant bamboo charcoal facial sheet mask set of four. This set of four does retail for 35 bucks, so it makes each sheet mask about 875. That's kind of expensive per the sheet mask, holy moly. But it says it's a powerful detoxifier, pore minimizer. They also claim it removes oil, it hydrates deeply with the hyaluronic acid, the charcoal digs deep to pull out the dirt in the oil, leaving the pores looking smaller, so that's why they claim it minimizes the pores. Then we got ourselves a fun looking box here that looks like a broke going into the box. This is the Complex Culture Contour and Blush Brush. It's got a funky looking way that the bristles sit, look at that. That is interesting. Wow. Which way, which way do you hold it? Do you hold it like this? Do you hold it like this? Oh, I see. So it says that little tip here, I had to look them up. So see that lower shorter edge? Dip in your contour powder and define your cheekbones, templates, and jawline. And then switch to the fluffy side. Like that. Swirl onto your cheeks for some blush. So like boom maybe, and then like a boom. I don't know, it'll be interesting to kind of get the hang of this one, just to like feel it out. It says it's supposed to be a speedier way so that way you don't have to switch through your brushes. I mean, I don't know about switching between your brushes, and most of us usually keep our brushes together, so it's just going like boop, boop, and picking up. I would see more as like a travel-friendly thing, if so you wouldn't have to bring like a contour brush and a blush brush. I can see that. That was now our sixth full-size item, and I'm looking here in the box at everything that's left, and I actually think we have more than just the eight full-size items. We've got quite a few more to go. So let's, let's keep it going here. We got two products here by Galactic. It is the three-in-one Lip Sparkle Balm Duos in Periwinkle and Twinkle. Each one is $17 and they're counting it as one, so they're just giving it one value of 34 bucks, but that's crazy, they're giving you both of them. Let's do a swatch here. Very shimmery looking. I try to swatch them out here, hopefully you can see them. Twinkle is up top and Periwinkle is down below. So let's wipe away this lip color, give them a quick try on. Periwinkle first. Oh, that has some serious shine to it. Yeah, feels just kind of like a balm. Let's try on Twinkle. They definitely give you that shiny kind of look. Dipping back into the box, we got something that is double wrapped. Double wrapped? Bubble wrapped? <laughs> it's getting too late for me. <laughs> oh, it's got a little, little spaceship on there. Oh, that's cute. It is called Space Case Cosmetics. Another new brand to me. This is their highlighter, the Scene from Space Highlighter in 1E. It is a full size with a retail value of nine bucks. Ooh, it's a pretty shade. I could definitely rock that. I almost feel like it's not too much of a strobing kind of highlighter. I rubbed it out here a little bit on my hand and it definitely gives a bit of a shimmer, but it doesn't look like it's overly shimmery where there's tons of glitter and just so much shimmer in there that you're just strobing from outer space, which is almost what I was thinking this was gonna be since this is seen from space highlighter. It's always fun when you get something a little bit more on the <laughs> wearable side. All right, we got a product here by Morphe. Hello. This is their 8L Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette. Morphe. Popping up a little bit more and more here, huh? So here is a look Ooh, at the palette. But it looks like it's a mix of contour shades and highlight shades. I went ahead and swatched them all out, all the contours together and the highlighters on the end. Out of these four shades here, I might use either one of these. I would have to definitely try it out and see how it looks on me. But I mean, in larger palettes like this, there's always gonna be a shade that you personally don't use. Cause I've also been starting to get out of doing contouring. I've been really just putting on some bronzer and calling it a day. I rarely contour nowadays. I'll maybe do a little bit of cream contour with my Wet n Wild contour stick. And that's, I think about it. 
Yeah. Because, I mean, on the daily, it's like, I really don't need to be contouring and just snatching myself out. I don't really go anywhere that fancy. <laughs> it's just a regular day. I don't need to look that snatched. Oh, man, but we're reaching the end here. We got one more full size, and it looks like we just got two trial deluxe size items. So let's go in with the last item. Now, I was saving this one for last because this, this is a big ticket item. This is the 111 Skin Cryo Activating Hydro Gel. <sighs> it has a retail value of $200. She is expensive. But the way they say to use this is actually in place of your makeup primer. So you use this moisturizer as an all-in-one kind of combination because it says it l makes it look like you have a filter on your face, so they claim. It fills in fine lines and uneven skin texture and just smooths everything out, I guess. The key ingredients that they say that this has is castor oil, aloe vera, vitamin C. It's got some anti-aging properties. It's, <laughs> it's really supposed to be good for everything, they say. It's anti-aging, dryness, dehydration, free radical damage, loss of firmness. It's supposed to cure it all in this little bottle. It's supposed to be the fountain of youth, apparently. That's why you're paying 200 bucks for it. Well, actually, we're not paying 200 bucks for it. We only bought a box for 50. So that's insane. I can never get over the 111 skin prices. That was the last of the full size item. Now we got two of the deluxe slash sample size. First of the deluxes is the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Original. This is like a tiny little makeup remover balm. This is good for travel. I've actually gotten a tiny one previously by Clinique and it's actually really good to save them and once you run out of that, just if you have another kind, just kind of scoop it into the tiny one. That way you keep the jar, you reuse it and you don't have to keep carrying around those larger ones. So little tip from me to you. Keep the tiny packaging and just refill them. For the last deluxe item, a product here about Pixie. It's funny, my mom's dog, one of them at least, is uh, named Pixie. But this is the Mesmerizing Mineral Duo in Mineral Bronze. Here's what this little deluxe size duo looks like. Let's watch them out. And we've got ourselves two bronze shimmer shades. One's a little bit darker, of course, and one's a little bit lighter. But that was both the deluxe size items now. And it actually seemed like there wasn't that many discrepancies as far as pricing goes. So let's add everything up. I'm not including any prices for the deluxe size items, only the full size. Jeez. $416.95. That is an insane, insane value of the box. Seriously. I mean, of course, it all has to be <laughs> thanks to the 111 skin product, but man, still, the fact that they're able to get that into the box is pretty crazy. Just based on value, obviously, Ipsy takes boxy lux. They definitely had the winning value there as far as what you what you pay for. But when I look at these two boxes, values aside, just purely looking at the products and what I would actually like use, I feel like I have to go with boxy lux for the win for this month. Just because it had some really fun kind of practical items that spoke to me a little bit more than the Ipsy Ultimate. D I mean, don't get me wrong, the Ipsy Ultimate had some good items, but I just, you know, for what I would actually use, I feel like the Boxy Charm definitely takes it. Of course, that's just my opinion on this battle of the boxes. I definitely want to hear from you guys which one you prefer this month. Did you prefer the Ultimate? or the Boxy Lux, which products spoke to you guys? Let me know down below in the comments. I really hope that you guys enjoyed me doing this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.